What's going on guys? This is Matt with Full Tilt Bullies. I hope everybody's having a good one. Uh, so I'm going to try to hit on this pretty quick today. Uh, last video I did showed the pups. They were looking a little skinny and I'm not going to lie. I did a video and I was, you know, a little less than my ordinary self as far as just my emotional reaction to people's uh, comments. And, you know, the ones that really get me are like, everybody knows the kind of people that are like, Hey, I don't mean no disrespect. And then they say some disrespectful shit. So, um, that's kind of like the attitude. A lot of these comments are, it's just stuff just don't make sense. Uh, and it's on most multiple little things. Um, but most recently, like the building where they sleep and then the dogs being skinny. So again, I thought I'll kind of covered it in the video. I don't know if some of these people watch the video without their sound on, um, or, people tune into videos like you search videos that you don't uh that that are going to like you know put you in a bad mood or ruin your day i don't really do that i try to watch stuff that i enjoy but anyway you know to each their own uh main point of this video is again like i thought i just you know explained in that video um i I'm, i have been breeding for about 10 years i've learned stuff the easy way i've learned stuff the hard way more times than less you learn them the hard way uh, one of the things that a major thing that I learned with puppies, you know, uh, what kind of food, what kind of big dog food, what kind of puppy food, raw feed, you know, how, how, uh, fat or skinny should they be? Um, I, I have crossed every bridge that, that there is to cross with these dogs. Um, again, I, I don't know how many puppies I've produced, um, but enough that <clears throat> I can confidently say I know what I'm doing. Now, these pups right back here are off of Miss Blue and Big Nero up there. I produced both of them, um, and um, they're one of their grandparents on each side, uh, and then you know some even um, past that. So uh, again, when it comes to these exact puppies, I can pretty much tell you like what they're gonna turn into, how they're gonna look, how much they're gonna weigh, how tall they're gonna be. Every once in a while, you might have one dog that kinda slips outside of that mold, but it's very rare. Um, now, oh, another thing was like the high, the high rear thing. And I think I talked about this in another video. Yeah, one or two of them got a little bit of a high rear, you know, so, so what? uh the the weight on the puppy thing and again i really want this video to resonate more with like the new breeders people that are you know like thinking about getting into it or um you know that are just getting started when you have puppies you're going to find all the tricks you know there's, there's going to be tons of what is it y'all still a little chilly uh and this triboy is sold already i am going to be selling one of the blue girls so uh, one of them's for sale either one. I'm not selling them both. Just gonna sell one of them. She'll be 1500 ABR registered uh, Update on shots dewormed ears cropped uh, and just dewormed them and did their uh, Shots that they were needing uh, I think like yesterday or day before but uh, Anyway, you new guys you can research all the tricks you can hit them with the dine and I, again I, I used to do this kind of stuff uh, You can you know hit them with the dine that fattens them up a little bit um, you know, there's different supplements and, and, you know, high fat and high protein puppy foods. I mean, there's, again, there's just all sorts of, of little tricks and ways, satin balls, uh, you know, raw beef is a good fattener. Uh, but again, in dogs or in humans, when has it ever been, you know, healthy to be a beast? That's, you know, one thing you, we're going to have to focus on here. It's not healthy to be a beast. Now, the main reason for puppies to not be a beast is because their bones and their tendons and ligaments are weak. They're not strong. They're softer. And a lot of times what happens is you'll get, um, you know, the splayed elbows. Um, they'll be bow-legged, easty westy. The, their backs will, you know, slope down real bad in the middle from carrying that weight as a puppy. And all of that uh, transpires uh, and you know correlates from a puppy to uh, an adult and it's what it's going to do for you new guys if you're just fattening your puppies up and you're telling your clients hey keep them fat and blah 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 uh what's going to happen is you're going to all your productions as adults are going to be you know looking stupid and they're going to be unhealthy 
and it's going to make you your kennel your brand the, the whole nine look bad you know once a once a pup has hit nine or ten months then you can you know put that weight on them try to get that grown you know grown man weight it's like when you see a teenager they're usually skinny and lanky and you know you know kind of funny looking awkward looking and then when they become adults they start putting on that grown man or grown woman weight it's the exact same thing it is not healthy to have your pups fat now those pups were you know slightly skinnier than i wanted them and I, and i said in the video i tried a new food it was a smaller pebble food uh because those pups weren't they were just inhaling their food because they're pups and they've been used to fighting for a titty or you know a bowl of food or a bowl of water and for some reason they still do it a little bit and they all get fed separate uh, but they were just inhaling it so i went to the little ones that way i'm thinking okay it'll digest a little better it's still high in protein uh just wasn't that high in fat and since then um you know we put them on something a little bit different and it's not to make them like fat and wrinkly it's just to keep them with a good consistent you know weight on them but something that's not too heavy for their uh, bones and body to hold and again this is their mama look at her looks great plenty of muscle mass uh you know good body fat uh, again for people to see all the dogs and then see the puppies the ones that are for sale how much sense does it make to have them skinny just you know for whatever weird reason that you would assume but all my other dogs you know are nice and thick and look good the only reason is because these are adults those are puppies so you know maybe do a little research that's one thing i hate is people that just comment crazy stuff and they hadn't done any research or they just don't know what they're talking about and if you're one you know one of these people if you're a like a long time breeder and you don't already know that it's not healthy to you know for your pups to be freaking fat as as heck for their you know health and their bones and stuff then you know hey you keep knowing you i'm not mad at you but you know uh everything i've seen and i've learned if you want your adults to have nice straight fronts and you know uh to be healthy then go go easy on that food i mean i could easily it wouldn't cost me an extra 35 dollars a week to hit hit all my dogs with that you know at one extra scoop or half an extra scoop and believe it or not one scoop or a half a scoop can change tremendously i mean it, it can make make them fat just the smallest amount of food can make them fat and just a little less can make them you know skinny so um you know find find that find that nice point where you keep them nice and healthy and uh looking good and i promise you your future you know breedings and the the your future productions when people resend you pictures and you share those pictures and show people like you know no nobody's everybody buys a puppy because you know puppies are cute but that's you know the best time to buy one so you can bond with it from the very beginning all the way up but you know the the dog that you have for the longest is an adult dog and that's the dog that you want to look the best yeah it was always great that that puppy was super cute when it was you know uh four weeks to to you know 16 weeks or something like that but that's such a short period of time that that you know has been overlooked and is just being uh you know done the wrong way that the majority of the time is when you want a nice freaking thick good looking adult dog that's what you're going to have for years and years to come so uh that's just my input on it hopefully some of y'all guys can take from that and learn don't let people pressure you into fattening these dogs up and making them unhealthy uh because it, it's just not the right thing to do like look at that boy this is the dad to those pups right there you can't <laughs> like as adults if they're you know um fed and and done the right way you see that's the dad the mama's down there i mean you can't get nothing but a nice dog you know nice thick bullies off of that so um that's it for now guys i'm gonna get back to raking these leaves and stuff up i got daggum tons of trees and stuff so these leaves are it's it's a lot but that's it for now y'all appreciate it till next time